Assalamu alaikum. Joining me is Sheikh Naveed Aziz, one of the Imams of the Islamic Information Society of Calgary. Sheikh Naveed, tell me about Calgary, Alberta. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Calgary, Alberta is like one of the most beautiful places on the planet. Alhamdulillah, I've been privileged to travel around the world, I would say to around 30 to 40 countries, and people always ask me, you know, what's the most beautiful place you've ever been to? And I always tell them that it's in my own backyard, Calgary, Alberta. Calgary is surrounded by some beautiful mountains. Uh, a lot of you that are into travel, you may be familiar with this area called Banff. And inside Banff, if any of you ever visit, and I hope you guys do soon, there are two lakes that you have to visit. One of them is called Lake Louise, and the other one is called Lake Moraine. And what makes these places so special is that you're surrounded by these gigantic, enormous mountains, and then you have the crystal clear blue water, and then you have these mice, uh, massive you know, pine and, and fern trees that are there that are like literally hundreds of meters tall. And you just look at this area, and subhanAllah, you're just amazed at the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How you can have mountains, crystal clear blue water, and these amazing beautiful trees all in one area. So I would definitely say if anyone travels to Canada or through Canada, they have to visit Calgary for sure, just to visit the area of Banff. Now Calgary overall is relatively a small city compared to the other cities in Canada. So Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver, they are actually bigger than Calgary. But in terms of people being friendly and homely, I do believe Calgary is one of the friendliest places in all of Canada. And I think a lot of that has to do with you know, us having this celebration called the Stampede, where we welcome guests and they come and join you know, the celebrations of the Stampede. Likewise, you know, people being in beautiful scenery, that always helps. Always having the sun around, that always helps as well. So Calgary is definitely one of the friendlier places. Uh, another great point about Calgary is that we have this amazing food culture. So if you're really into your steaks, you're really into your food, you got to visit this place because we have these amazing farms that grow like organically raised beef and you know they're ethically maintained and this meat is just like at another level. So if you're really into your steak scene, this is the place to be as well. And overall, uh, for those of you that watch like Top Chef and stuff like that, a lot of the chefs that appear on those shows are from Calgary, Alberta. So there's this diverse uh, food culture there as well. And a third and last point that I would mention about Calgary being amazing and why people have to visit Calgary is just the fact that there's so much to learn about the history of Alberta in general. So when you think about the history of Alberta, you'll notice that some of the first migrants, Muslims, that came to Canada were in Alberta. So just there, there's so much history here in Alberta to, to learn and benefit from is another reason that people definitely have to come and visit, inshallah. What brought you to Calgary, Alberta? So this goes back to like 2005. I was studying at the Islamic University of Medina and I was invited to a conference by one of my close friends. And that conference was here in Calgary, Alberta. Interestingly enough with the very organization that I'm working with right now, the IISC. And when I came to Calgary, I absolutely loved it. It started from the point where the plane started to descend to the time that I met the people of Calgary till the time the conference was finished. And I actually felt sad leaving Calgary at that time. And it felt, you know, in my heart at that time that you know what, Calgary seems like the place to be. So I eventually graduated from Medina in 2008 and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And you know, I thought to myself, you know what, it'd be nice to move out of Montreal. Just because you know, that's where I was growing. Everyone knows me as this young child. I was running around in the masjid. No one took me seriously. And alhamdulillah, an opportunity arose in Calgary. So I ended up taking it. And in April 2012, that's when I moved to, to Calgary. Alhamdulillah, it's been a, a really fun experience that I get to work with the IISC. Uh, I take care of you know, the youth coordination in the masjid. Likewise, the outreach programs that we have in the masjid, whether it be the interfaith programs or whether it be dealing with government, you know, alhamdulillah, I manage that as well. And then likewise, I take care of chaplaincy at uh, the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology as well. Um, so alhamdulillah, you know, what brought me to Calgary was a diverse number of reasons. But I think the number one reason why I moved to Calgary was just the potential it had. A lot of people don't know this, but in 2005, there was like an economic boom that took place in Calgary that caused a lot of people to migrate to Calgary. And one of the positive benefits of that is that not, not only did it diversify the community in terms of the ethnic cultures that it, they came with, but likewise, because of the economic boom that is still continuing till this day, like, you know, nine years later, it means that the community is very affluent. So anytime we have to do like a fundraiser or do a project, it happens very, very quickly. And our masjid is actually, you know, <clears throat> renowned for this. Our Ramadan fundraisers, they only last five minutes. We do two fundraisers in Ramadan, each one is five minutes long, and believe it or not, we hit our targets, alhamdulillah. So that definitely, you know, helps as well. Tell me about your experiences with the Muslim community in Calgary, Alberta. 
So my experience with the Muslim community has actually been phenomenal. You know, every imam, he looks for this place where he can be supported by his people, sort of like how the Prophet Sallallahu felt when he went to Medina. You know, he found this uh, unbiased support, unquestioning support, unconditional support. And alhamdulillah, that's what I've actually found in Calgary. And I believe, you know, a lot of this has to do with some of the history that is, you know, behind it. So the very first migrants that came to Canada, they actually came to the province of Alberta. And the very first masjid that was built was Masjid al-Rashid in Edmonton. So those very first migrants of the Lebanese community, when they came, alhamdulillah, they were very smart and had an intuition when it came to business. So they invested in properties and mashallah, they became very affluent and rich. And that sort of continued until our time today. And that is why when you come to Calgary, you see these massive masajid being built that have this amazing infrastructure like the Akram Juma Masjid, the Southwest Masjid, and inshallah, you know, when we build Masjid al Nur as well. So overall, I would say my experience has been very, very fantastic. And alhamdulillah, even the diversity that is in Calgary, that, you know, it's not one ethnically stronghold, uh, ethnic stronghold for any one community, but rather you find everyone and everything. So when I go to any masjid, you'll always find someone from the Lebanese community, someone from the Pakistani community, the Indian community, the Somalian community, you know, the African community, and everyone's just working together. And this is one of the beautiful things that, you know, from my time in Montreal, there were actually masjids that were known as, you know, this is the Moroccan masjid, this is the Bengali masjid, this is the Indian Pakistani masjid. But alhamdulillah, we don't have those biases and that, you know, unintended racism that, that comes with, with such masjid. And I would say that's a, a beautiful thing about the Calgary community, that everyone is able to work together. Um, another benefit of the Calgary community is how young most of the imams are. So myself, alhamdulillah, I just recently turned 33. We have another Sheikh, Imam Fayaz. Uh, you know, he, he doesn't tell me his age, but I'm assuming he's around like 30 or so, maybe give or take a couple of years. And uh, even the Sheikh Hassan, the other Imam of the IIC, he's in his 40s. So alhamdulillah, we don't have this issue of, you know, the Imams not being able to relate to the people or the Imams, you know, not knowing anything about the culture of Canada. So alhamdulillah, overall, I would say my experience in Calgary has been fantastic. And I hope you guys will come and visit us again soon, inshallah. For those of you that are watching, this is an open invitation. You guys will always have a home at the IISC in Calgary. So please do come and visit us, inshallah. You guys can reach me on Facebook and on Twitter. On Facebook, it's backslash Nevada Aziz. On Twitter, it's at Nevada Aziz. So be in touch and, you know, let's see what we can do together, inshallah. Jazakumallahu khair. Finally, do you have a message for viewers today? A message for the viewers, it's probably my, famous, my, fa uh, <laughs> my favorite verse in the Qur'an. My favorite verse in the Qur'an is in Surah Al-Duha, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he tells him, مَا وَدَّعْكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى That your Lord has not abandoned you, nor does he detest you. When you look at this beautiful verse, you understand from it that in life, you know, one of the things that our soul desires is to reconnect with God, is to reconnect with our Creator. And from time to time in this journey, we may feel abandoned. You know, why aren't the clear signs of God in front of me? You know, that's what each and everyone wants. We want to speak to God directly, see God directly, and, you know, communicate with God directly. But that's not really how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala works. Right? I want to give you the example of when you're doing an exam, right? You're writing the exam. Does your teacher actually speak to you during the exam? No, he doesn't. He gives you the exam and you work with the exam till you're done. The life of this world is a test. And in this test, you will have ups and downs. Your faith will go up. Your faith will go down. But all I can say is that during these moments of trial, you need to remember this famous verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Your Lord has not abandoned you, nor does he detest you. And particularly the second part of the verse, nor does he detest you, this implies that the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always there. The love of your God and the love of your Creator is always there. Raise your hands and supplicate to Him. Be positive, be optimistic, and you can achieve anything that you put your mind to, inshallah. Shaykh Naveed, thank you very much for your time. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.